Hi, this is Carly Feeks reporting from Poultry Health Today, and joining me today is Dr. Louise DeFore Zavala, President of the American Association of Avian Pathologists and Executive Director of Georgia Poultry Laboratory Network. Thank you so much for joining me today, Louise. Good afternoon. Glad to be here. AAAP will be meeting independently in 2023 in Jacksonville, Florida. Why does AAAP want to have an independent meeting? So we're very excited about it. It really is going to enhance our own identity as a, an association, since we're going to be by ourselves. It's going to give us a lot of flexibility for location, for date, for hotels, for arrangements. And also the registration and the uh, collection of abstract is going to be a lot easier because there's only 500 of us as opposed to a very larger organization. Uh, the timelines in the program are going to be very much focused only on our association. So we're excited about that. Of course, with AVMA, we continue to be a, a very close allied constituent of the AVMA, and that does not really change that relationship at all. In your fall newsletter, you mentioned that AAAP Women's Network Committee received a Best Committee Award. How many members are participating on that committee, and what does the committee have planned for the rest of this year? Uh, it's a relatively new committee, and for them to get the award, like the first or second year that they've been in uh, a, a committee has been truly amazing. There's about 130 people uh, on that committee. And actually, they have the symposium for 2023, where they're going to continue focusing on leadership skills and on professional development, not only for women, but for, for the entire leadership of AAAP. Uh, they have just amazing energy. There's a new strategy for the journal Avian Diseases Plans. Can you tell us what that's about? The journal Avian Diseases did a survey of the entire AAAP membership. And there's a couple of things that really stuck out uh, from this survey. Uh, one was the membership wanted to see more review articles. You know, an article that just reviews the entire subject in one article. The other one was more case reports. So as we reviewed as a board and as, as an association, as we reviewed uh, that survey and talked to our editor, Dr. Mo Safe, about it, um, we decided to just go for it. What is new is not only that, but we have three associate editors helping Dr. Safe, Dr. Swain, Dr. Toro, and Dr. Rodenstein. And all three of them are very involved in uh, getting the avian diseases journal just closer to the membership needs and wants. And there's also a new procedures manual. How does the new manual compare to the old and how can it benefit triple uh, AAAP members? The, the, the manual is, is a very, very cool project that they did. We actually only have one. It's a project that's been developing again over a few years and it's finally was finalized last year. Uh, under uh, when Dr. David Frame was president, that was kind of his baby. Um, so that manual is wonderful. It's basically the go-to of everything AAAP, our mission, our vision, how we structured all of our committees, what each company does, etc. cetera. Um, what is new about it is really that it's updated all the time. There's not really gonna be a second version. It's gonna be the same version that's, that's, it's a living document. One of the keynote roundtable topics for the annual conference is about post-pandemic challenges and opportunities. As president of the AAAP and the executive director of the Georgia Poultry Lab Network, what do you see as the leading post-pandemic challenges and opportunities? Well, I choose to look at opportunities <laughs> instead of challenges. Professionally, I think this flexible workplace is there to stay. I think that it's gonna look more like a hybrid, hybrid situation in the workplace in general. Uh, hopefully though, not too much of that where we don't have enough human interaction. And this is where we have to find the balance. If we continue doing more work from home, especially for the jobs that you know, allow that, then we can't forget that our human interaction and teamwork is just so critical in any, in any workplace and any profession, really. I, I think also that virtual and hybrid meetings will continue because even if people go back to uh, meetings in person, the hybrid or the, the virtual uh, portion of that 
gives an opportunity to the people that could not make it to still visualize the, um, the conference. So I don't think that's going anywhere. And maybe on the, in general, maybe more on the lab side uh, where I work, my everyday job, uh, what I see there is I think the, the pandemic showed us the fragility of our supply chain. I really think that the supply chain is going to be looked, looked at very, very carefully in the future.